Hey guys, um, welcome back to another part of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot with me, Clan Gamer. And um, as you could probably tell, I got the gem uh, for Hogwild. Now, I did get the gem earlier in Hogwild, but um, unfortunately, though, um, I pressed a wrong button on my headset that caused the uh, commentary to be muted. So I apologize for that. So this is my second take on this. But um, hopefully, um, um, I, I can get all the boxes here and show you what happens. But I've already got the gem anyway, so it's deemed worthless. But I'll show you what to do here, just for the sake of it. Even though this is this has been put up on YouTube like so many times. Well, move to the left. Move to the right. Good so far, and then jump. Bongo drum. That was close. Now, I missed two of those. Oh wait, no, I got one somehow, but I missed two of those. But yeah, basically, get all the boxes that you can. But I'll link down uh, another part for how to get the gem in this. But uh, you, well, you should all know what to do to get the gems in this. Obviously, you need to get all the boxes. But um, I apologise for not showing that footage earlier, but that was because of my uh, commentary being screwed up. And uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again in this. So, um... I'm now going to move on to uh, Native Fortress. Now, I hope you understand about my clan uh, uh, videos and stuff, um, about how I can't really do them at the moment, because, um... Uh, like, well, I mean, doing my tongue and technique and stuff. Just trying to get that perfected. What have we got? And once I'm done with the tongue and technique, I will um, resume doing Clanet videos. Well, hopefully, I can do them uh, with uh, the uh, tongue and technique that I've been uh, taught recently. If I can, that'd be brilliant because the tonguing would go a hell of a lot smoother than it was last time. Right, and go. That was a quite a bit one before I got there. Right, wait for that flame last time, because in the last recording I did, um, I actually jumped into the flame by accident because I wasn't focusing. But, um, and checkpoint. Oh, and I got a life, and I didn't mean to do that. Was I just supposed to spin them? But never mind. What's done is done. There we go, and. Well, it doesn't matter, but that won't be fruit. Yeah, as you could tell, I did this level earlier, but as I said before, the commentary screwed up on me. And um, I'm hoping that this doesn't happen again. Just keeping an eye on the snare, it looks fine. And um, I hope you understand also about me uh, not getting certain things in Crash Bash, just because it's too hard. I think. Right, we're here. Now this is the point where I was when I realised, yeah, my commentary has been muted. Uh, you can use that turtle as like a bouncy box. Now basically this is a shortcut, like just to avoid all these obstacles. And um, for my improvisation covers, I've got a couple of uh, songs in mind from my uh, Jamie Abersole Maiden Voyage Volume 54 book. I've got a couple of uh, tunes uh, that I've got in mind that I want to do. And crap. Sorry. Uh, I've got a couple of tunes um, that I want to do, which are Cantaloupe Island and... Um, and what's the other one? Oh yeah, Watermelon Man. Now I have seen someone on YouTube playing the Watermelon Man before, and it's a really, really good improvisation cover. 
Uh, I think if I got anything else to say, really. No, I don't think really have anything that much else to say. I know there's a life in there, but I don't want to get it. It's not worth the risk. Besides, there's a few lives up here. There we go. Yeah, and that's what happens like if you die, like in a level where you're required to get a gem without going on the uh, colored gem path, um, you have to redo it all over again if you want the gem. But luckily for this one, I don't have to get that one yet. So, um, I've still got plenty of time, so I'll go on to the second island now. And up the creek is the second water level in this game, and they were the last one actually. And uh, hopefully I can make through this in one go, because there's a gem here that um, that you can get without going on any coloured gems, unlike the last one. I have to say this water level is a bit challenging, purely because, and this will be further on in the level, because of, um, like, Further on the level, there's a exclamation mark box you've got to get to get like boxes highlighted, and the boxes that you have to highlight are down on the ledge. This near one of the waterfalls, and that can be quite hard to get purely because of the controls and stuff. But yeah, as I said before, they fixed that in the second game, which was good. Um, oh yeah, and also, um, I've been uh, looking up the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 special stages, and um, I believe that, um, well, I can say right now the Sonic 2 special stages, as I said before, now this is the bit I was talking about here, and hopefully I can make through this at one go, yes, I'll jump on that without dying, thank you. So there we go, and just jump. That was close. If I don't die, yes! That bit always uh, makes me nervous. Especially just jumping on those lily pads that can cause you to sink in the water. Or you can sink in the water if you're not careful with the controls, which are annoying. Yeah, I know I'm repeating myself, but it doesn't matter. Okay, now we're moving on to the uh, Tonya bonus round. And, um... This one, I have to say, is... It's quite... It's not really hard, it's a bit of a challenge, like just keeping your balance on boxes and stuff. I mean, I know you don't have to get all the boxes in this. Because it's not required, but in Crash Bandicoot 2, that's the case. Okay, and a couple of lives to finish off, and we're 26% complete. Good so far. Uh, but yeah, um... I, the, the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 special stages, um are not really my favourite stage in the game, because purely because of, like, you can't see what's coming around the corner till the last minute, and, um... Also... And also because, like, the bombs, like, especially, like, when you're playing with Tails, and when you're Sonic in this, um... It's when you're, uh... It's because Tails has like a second delay in uh, um, like avoiding the bombs and getting the rings even, which is so annoying. That's the only lacking thing because the fifth special stage which I did in one of my videos took me, pff, I think at least five or six attempts. Because that's probably the hardest one I think, but um, the sixth special stage should be, shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. But now moving on, and this is going to be the final thing that I'm going to be doing in this video, which is Ripper Roo, one of uh, uh, Cortex's, or Cortex and Brio's experiments of the uh, 
and a part of the Cortex Commando, which Crash was supposed to be a part of, but um, due to him being a good guy, I rejected him. Now the strategy for this is to basically, like the big TNTs as you can see here, um, set them off at the right time when the Ripperoo is coming onto the pads. Like that. And just repeat the strategy. Now Ripperoo um, changes um, his direction on, on the uh, stone paths. And basically avoid them. Obviously you can't spin them. Oh no. That was close. <laughs> and uh... Nope, that was my fault. My fault. Again, my fault. Didn't set off at the right time. Right, now you can jump on here. Basically I could just stand here and uh, wait for him to go to that platform there and hopefully the... No. Doesn't matter. Uh... Oh god, no. <sighs> Sorry, I could have done better on this, but... Uh... Just avoid. Maybe just jump in the middle here. How does that sound? I know I could, could do better at this, but... It doesn't matter. Right, this should kill him. Yes! And final note to end the video. Yeehaw! Okay. Um, that will do for this video, and... Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, my, um, not a horrible attempt, but a long attempt on to beat uh, Ripperoo. Um, be sure to like the video, comment down below for your thoughts on uh, these levels that I just did. And uh, I apologise for not getting the gem and like that footage. I mean, even though I already got the gem, sorry about not getting the boxes and stuff, but uh, I already got the gem. So I'll link you down, uh, like, the a link for... Uh, um, the Hogwild gem from someone else's channel so you can take a look and see how you can get it yourself and um, uh, subscribe for more Crash Bandicoot videos. Until then this is Clan Gamer here signing off and I will see you next time for more Crash Bandicoot 1. Till then, bye!